Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. Episode number five of the Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain. So here we are here. In our, I'm not I'm even gonna I'm not even gonna turn on the <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not even gonna turn on the lantern because it is uh getting a little low on fuel. So I think we're about ready to go. We're in pretty good shape. We're pretty well rested, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and rest here just to uh, get us a little bit warmer and to max out our uh, our rest. Let's get a little drink here. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're on to go out this cave and make a left and uh, see if we can find the next rope. Um, let's go back here, bedroll. But we're going to take a little bit of a siesta first. Hopefully, um, as the day progresses, it warms up just a little bit. So we're going to rest for about two hours. There we go. Okay, so we've rested for two hours. Let's go ahead and pick that up. All good to go. We're looking real nice here. Okay, let's grab an extra box of crackers. Two extra boxes of crackers. An energy bar. There we go. What are we at now? Wait, was Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. So, good clothing. Everything looks to be in good shape except for boots, which I can't repair. Uh, pretty good on that. Um, just a little bit low on lantern fuel. A uh, little low on water, but we're, we're going to get to get to that. I don't know why I'm carrying a fishing hook around. Probably if I put it down here, I'd never find it again. That's probably why. And it cost me all of 0 0.02 pounds. So we got some wood, uh, four pieces of actual wood, and then we got some coal to burn too. So pretty good shape there, plus some sticks. So let's get moving here. Um, let's get a flare out. Not a match. Not a match. A flare, please. So anyway, while you guys are watching this video, I am working my third 12-hour shift at the police department. And uh, I really wish that I wasn't doing that and I was making more content for you. Unfortunately, if you guys in the pre previous videos were leaving comments like, next episode do this, next episode do that. Uh, yeah, I didn't hear you because I filmed this all on uh, Friday night. So, New Year's Day actually. Or, well, I guess technically it's the 2nd. It's about 1 a.m. or so on the 2nd. So, Eastern Time. So I can't hear you. <laughs> I didn't see any of those comments. I'm not intentionally ignoring you. I'm unintentionally ignoring you. So hopefully it doesn't sting the same. Alright, so we're going to go this way. And then I think... Okay, there's a cave or something here. Hey, isn't there normally some loot or something? No, apparently not. <laughs> I thought normally there was like a dead guy here or something that you could loot. But I hoping maybe we find some kerosene <laughs> or something. Or Oh, wait. Okay, maybe this is him. I thought he was more, more, like, closer to that rock right there, but apparently not. It feels like at 8 degrees. Okay, that's a lot better than negative 21 or whatever it was at when I was debating going for it before. But, uh, okay. If this has a bedroom, I'm just going to take what I need. I'm going to leave pretty much everything else behind because we can always dip back out here. That's going to be our primary cave back there for survival, I think, through this entire series. It's a pretty good cave. Okay, so that's, like, 10 cloth right there. Uh, we got ourselves a to oh lamp. Go hey, what uh, that's exactly what I needed. Uh, sticks. Yeah, we'll take those. Oh no, no, no. Okay, cedar wood, fir wood. We'll take both of those. And let's see what we got here. Some peaches. We'll take those. That's pretty good. Pretty good find. Okay, no dead guy. Um, I think we want to go this way actually. I think that way. Leads to yes, I can see the rock there that's supposed to, that you can put a rope on, but doesn't have one. So let's not go that way. Let's go this way. How about we go the right direction rather than the wrong direction? What a novel idea! So my uh, axe or hatchet, as it were, is fully sharpened. Um, it. Uh, the knife is in pretty good shape too. Busted my whetstone sharpening them, but by the time we make it up to the uh, summit, uh, there's there should be abundant whetstones and knives and all kinds of goodies up there. So, all right, let's keep going here. I think we kind of veer to the left here. How are we doing on temperature? Three degrees. Starting to get a little bit cold. Yeah, I should, you know, uh, I forgot to brew myself some coffee before we left. I should have done that. But, uh, 
try to remember to do that when we start off on the next leg of the journey. It'd be real nice to have a rifle in my hands, though. Alright, I should be, yeah, there's the rope. Okay, this is this is the way that I wanted to go. Now, that up at the top of this rope should be deer crossing. I, th I do believe. Which is, um, has a cave, but it's not explorable. So, I think we need to lay up there and rest just enough to get our stamina back up. How are we doing? We're in pretty good shape as far as rest. The cold's going to be our issue, so maybe we just need to warm our bones up. And then we can actually push on. Maybe we won't have to stay in the, this cave. But there's, um, I think at the top of the next rope we'll actually have, not this one, but the following one, we'll actually have a cave that we can stay in that is an explorable cave. So we're going to do that. Just keep an eye out for attack wolves. Alright, we, ha we should not have any problem at all getting up up here. Let's check our st Oh yeah, we're in pretty good shape. We're just a little getting a little cold. All right, let's do this. Feel the burn. Help warm you up. Oh, there we go. Popsicles. Blood popsicles. Blood popsicles of death, really. Okay. Here we go. All right, we'll get our flare back out there. Be prepared for the inevitable. Now I'm gonna just stay close. Th I think we need to go. That. No, no, we need to go around. That's right. I always want to go straight up that way, and it's not the case. You need to go like back there and then up and around. There's like a little, little, little itty bitty path. It's itty bitty. <laughs> like what just happened to Accurize? Alright, so our little cave should be right over here. Are you running? Okay, I thought I heard. That must be the extremely loud clip clock of the uh, deer moving around out here. So creepy. Oh, there he goes. He's running. Got one running. Man, I haven't had to say that since I've been at the new department. <laughs> I used to say it on a weekly basis at my old department. Got one running. <laughs> He's about to bail. Man, I, for, I can't even... can't believe I... Wait a minute. We missed our turn. We missed our turn. It's back here somewhere. Hold on. Come here, you. There it is. Er. Sneaky cave. No, I think there might have been wood in this one before, too, wasn't there? Maybe. We got wood. Ooh, wood is good, and we got two of them waiting for us here. It's like a nice little present. We don't even have to unwrap. All right, let's just uh, settle in here. Let's see what the temp is. Oh, 26 degrees. We're going to warm up nice and quick here. So let's sit down, have a little bit of coffee, start a fire. You know, maybe if we had it, you know, we'd do some s'mores, but we don't, so we can't. So we won't. All right, 80% chance of success. What, what? Oh, big old stretch for Accurize. Oh. oh. There we go. Man, that was a, like a, not just a big stretch. That was a long stretch. That felt good. Kind of makes me want to do it all over again, but it would be like manufactured, and that's not nearly as good. Can't, can't fake those awesome stretches like that. Wait, maybe I can do my legs. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. There's nothing better than playing this game, freezing. Seeing that your character's freezing. Oh, it's down to 91% health. But, uh, and then uh, knowing that uh, you got this little space heater down at your feet that's keeping you nice and toasty. And knowing I got some Marion's pizza waiting for me in the refrigerator. Alright, so I think we'll just do a. Let's just do a firwood. Make it, uh,. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. So let's just lay down here, rest a little bit. 
should be pretty well protected from the wildlife, I think. Do I need a drink or anything? Nope, pretty good shape. For one hour, we'll be fine. That'll warm us up nicely. Condition probably gonna go up to about 93. Bad to guess. I should have done a... Well, I was thinking if I do tea, I'd rest better for that one hour. But then I'd have coffee, and then would they actually... I'd be getting improved rest, but I'd be getting perked up at the same... I'd be like uh, uppers and downers. I'd be mixing them all together, trying to self-medicate with <laughs> with my teas and my coffees. I don't know. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, don't tell me I got to Well, it sounds like there's a blizzard coming in, but I think we'll be able to travel okay for the time being. So I think what we'll do is we'll I'm gonna add a couple sticks here to the fire so we can brew up, brew up some... Coffee? Or tea, I should say. What are we doing on actually? Yeah, we'll do that. Help keep us warm and give us a little bit of a energy bonus. So oh, got doing it the wrong way. There we go. And then we'll uh, take a torch as well. So we're gonna try to do everything we can to stay as warm as possible. Let's do it out of our hinterland cup. I, I want a Hinterland cup. How cool would that be? Sit here, play the long dark, have a Hinterland coffee mug. <clears throat> Hinterland. <clears throat> Alan, if you're, if you're listening to the video. Could just ship one my way. That would be most excellent of you, sir. Okay, 59 degrees. We're in good shape. How yeah, are we doing on rest? Oh, we're in pretty good shape. I think we're going to be all right. So we just need to get up this hill here and... message coming through here on my phone. Got to check on it real quick. Okay, let's get going. Sorry about that. Strike back your eyes. Put your phone away. Focus on the game. All right, let's grab a couple sticks while we're on our way. We used a couple. Try not to wave my uh, torch around like a madman. Oh, that went out quick. That wind must be kicking up. Okay. Well, might as well drop that. I know you can break it down into a couple sticks. but Now there's a container right there. Part of me wants to see what it is, but part of me thinks... I don't really need the extra weight right now. I guess we could as long as there's no wolf running around. Our hacksaw's in good enough condition. Yeah, let's move over here and check this container real quick. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't even notice that one up there. I've never seen that one up there. I did miss that one before. Okay, let's let's go up and check out this one. Completely missed this one before. Well, you know what? Let's do the bottom one first while the wolf isn't around. I, I think maybe the weather's keeping the wolf at bay for the moment. Yeah. If we get too chilled, we can always head back to the cave, warm up for another hour. Real quick, but I think we're going to be alright. see what we got here. Rifle cleaning kit. I'm going to leave that one. Leave that one. Take the whetstone. Leave all that. We need simple tools, I do believe. Leave that whetstone. Leave that one. Leave that. Leave that. Uh... There we go. What else we got here? What we got? Ah, uh, boot anything. repair. Rabbit mitts. Boot repair. Boot repair. Boot repair. Boot repair. Boot repair. I'm taking all this, by the way. Because we are going to head back to the... Uh, we're going to head back to the cave. And we're going to do some repairs. Oh, you know what? I think I wanted another whetstone, actually. Well, no, we're going to... Get a bunch of stuff once we get to the top of it. All right, let's just head on, head on back. Let's let's get into this one here. We're actually not getting chilled fast at all. Must be because of that uh, coffee that we took uh, or that we ingested. I'm really surprised at how well that coffee's working. Why don't you guys tell me about this before in the comments? Just kidding, just kidding. You guys have been. Screaming it from the rooftops. I've just been, nah, it's just coffee. What can it do? But it looks like it really works pretty darn well. I'm very impressed with this. What have we got here? 
More food. Shoot. Oh, it's going to be clothing. Boots. Not sure which is better. Basic boots or work boots. Put those back. Those aren't any good. Uh, I can't remember which. I'm just going to put them all back and grab the best ones. Wool socks. Yes, please. Wool socks. Okay. Let's take a quick look at this and see what we got. Uh, clothing wise. Got these basic boots. Which is work boots. I'm going to take these and these. Put these. Wait. Put these back. Um, well, I guess we already have wool socks. Okay. Put those two back for now. I want to compare these. Let's see, wait a minute. Put that one back. Okay. I know the tennis shoes suck, so we're not going to take this. Um, let's see here. 2.3 versus 1.4. Hmm. Versus nothing. Not, were we running around without boots on? My lord. Pack your eyes. You freaking... <laughs> Uh, what are you on? Dual survival or something? Alright, there we go. Let's try this other one here. If I can reach it. Can I get that? Oh, their wolf came out. There we go. Yeah, we're going to retreat back to that cave and do some weight management and all that junk. Hmm. Jeans. Those are great jeans. No, thank you. Pretty good wool socks. I'll take those just to see which one's the best. Leave those. Leave those. Leave those. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Wow. Alright, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. How are we doing? Oh, uh, yeah. It's start, starting to finally get cold, but we could have traveled quite a ways in that amount of time, so we will grab some more sticks here. get the feeling that I have a little bit more confidence and uh, sort of like a feeling of control over my environment rather than it totally controlling me in this in this particular playthrough so I think I'm playing better this this time this time around all right I'll take that Got plenty of tinder. I'm gonna leave the birch bark. So, man, there's just a lot of sticks around here. All right, we're gonna be able to completely warm up just just from sticks. All right, let's move a little bit faster here. Well, don't really want to tuck myself out. Five hours of daylight left. I think we'll be able to make the next rope. Good. Good show, old friend. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at our clothing situation. Let's uh, warm up. There's the popsicles of death. Bloody popsicles. Okay, get up there. Come on. She acts like stepping into there is like trying to like some Gibraltar in one step or something. I don't know what her problem was. Like, just climb up there. Go. All right, how are we doing in here now? 36, it's 36 degrees in here? I don't even need a fire. But no, we're going to get some coffee in this and uh, get a little bit of food also. There we go. There's one. There's two. Two boxes. Can you imagine just eating crackers? Like, I mean, it's good to have them. There we go. I should probably eat that energy bar for actually first, but. Okay, we'll wear these. They're a little bit warmer. I'm just going to drop these here. And everything's looking pretty good. What's our warmth bonus at now? 13 degrees. Better than it was. Better than it was. And can we repair anything? We don't... Yeah, the boots. We can repair those. How are we doing on temperature? 36 degrees. Thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. We probably need to start a fire just to warm up faster, get our coffee, and make a little bit of... Uh, make a little bit of water while we're at it. So let's do that. Let's get a fire going. I probably should have done that a minute ago. First thing I, when I came in. But got plenty of sticks... I think this is going to be a stick fire. We'll have to use any of our premium lumber on this one.
Oh, it always teases me by getting right to the end and then just crapping out. It's okay. I'm used to it. Timberwolf Mountain has just completely lowered my expectations and confidence and <laughs> it's beating me down. It's really maybe a humble man. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, actually, it really should have made me a humble man when I came in here completely geared. I think minus rabbit mittens, that was about it. From the 51 day, or 51 episode series, and with a rifle and all kinds of great gear. And just died, like the first night. Eaten by a bear. Of course, now that I know where I actually laid camp, I'm like, jeez, no wonder you died. But I had no idea at the time. I was a babe in the woods, quite literally. Let's just do about two hours. There we go. Let's get some, uh, you know what, if we're going to rest, let me see, 90% condition. I think we rest, and then we drink our coffee. And, um, probably rest for about two hours. Right, we'll just do a little bit of water while we're here. Probably add a few more sticks here before we uh, before we go to sleep, so we don't actually have any time without a fire. Yeah, we should be able to make it up there. Now maybe the gets a little bit less windy out there too. So hopefully. So we got a good amount of water. Good. Pretty good. And supplies. Health, not too bad. 90%. Dry mouth. Let's get a drink. There we go. We're 70 pounds though. What are we carrying around so heavy? Oh, I got these extra. Accidentally grabbed those. Okay. Bloodstone. What else? That's 69 pounds. Ugh. What else can I drop? Uh out about four pounds of coal. I really don't want to be dropped. Oh, rabbit skin. Oh, yeah, deer skin. Okay. Cured leather. Oh, yeah, I was going to fix up my boots, too. Um, let's get rest while we can. I think. No. Let's just do this. Let's just fix our boots. Let's not make it too complex. How long would that take? An hour and four minutes? How much time do I have on a fire? An hour and nine minutes. Okay, let's do it. And then I'll add some more sticks and then we'll get some rest. Actions, repair. I need a cloth and a cured leather. Wow, okay. There we go. 100% on the boots, baby. What's our 14 degree? Okay, we're gaining an extra degree. It helps. Uh, I think we'll just add a cedar. Maybe two. Let's rest for an hour. And then when we wake up, we'll make our coffee, grab a torch, and hit the road. Brew ourselves up a coffee. Our darkness, our daylight left, so we're gonna get out of here before. We don't have that far to go, really. Let's drink up that coffee. Go. Let's grab a torch and then let's get moving. All right, guys. See you a little bit later. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Our bars are almost all maxed out, so I think this is a good time to move. Why am I am I encumbered still? Jeez, let's um let's try to lose a little weight. Let's eat one of these peaches. That's going to be close, and then we'll take a drink. That's what we'll do. Eating and drinking. We should be underweight. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Torches are burning. Oh, come on now. Um, yeah, what can I drop? What can I drop? What can I drop? What can I drop? Let's, uh, let's 
Let's drop a flare here. Okay. It's probably not the best thing to drop since it is self-defense, but two flares to get up there, I can't see that being a problem. Um, then we're going to have the rifle after we make it to the summit. So, yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll stumble into that cave, pop that flare, and start a fire when we're about to die. And throw on some jeans. Because the previous jeans we were wearing got torn off during a fight with a bear. You never know. You never know. Now I want to know, if you go into your journal and start typing in stuff, is it pause the game or are you continuing to burn calories and things like that? Because I'd kind of like to do that, like offline. I don't want to have you guys sit here while I try to type things in. But uh, I'd like to kind of go, you know, and review where I have certain things stashed. Type it in. Someone was like, use that journal, man, so you remember where things are. And I'm like, well, my memory does is like horrible, so... That sounds like kind of, you know, brilliant advice. So how are we doing here? Oh, we're in really, it's 23 degrees outside, man. I'm not even gonna pick up any sticks because that'll put me overweight. Oh, trees of death. Okay, let's keep going. There's nothing but freaking tombs is what they are. Tomb trees. I think I go around this way. Then there's like a cut through or something up here. Memory serves. Cause there's a in there a waterfall. Yeah, I think over there is the waterfall area or something. So. Whoa. Parkinson's. Holy crap, that's a bear. We're gonna need to make a run for it. We need to. Oh, don't get stuck on a freaking. He's coming towards us. Luckily, he's going slow. Is there a rope or something? I think it's like over here or somewhere. Isn't that. Where's the waterfall? I thought there was a waterfall here. Ugh. I was feeling a bit lost right now. Okay. I guess I go this way. I don't know. I think this is the way we go. Isn't it? Is there a rope here? If not, we're going to get boxed in by this bear. Maybe it's this way. Ropey, where are you at? I could really use an extraction about now. Okay, we're still doing good on everything, so no real worries at this point. Apart from that hungry bear. Thought there was one over here. I don't know, maybe I was wrong. I like, hmm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Did I miss my turn? Oh, come on now. Eight degrees. Oh, it's starting to get cold now. It's actually a little easier to see without the that. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm a little flummoxed at this point. Starting to get a little cold.
Where'd you put that rope guy? Dead mountain climber guy? Where'd, where'd you put that silly rope? Oh, come on. Wow. I thought there's a waterfall or something around here, but I haven't seen any water at all. That's what's really throwing me off. Oh wait a minute. Is this it? Am I here? Okay, I think I think it might be in the area. Wow, that was a lot further than that. Yes, the waterfall. Haha. <laughs> okay, that was a lot further than I expected. You know when I started by the waterfall, when I actually spawned in by the waterfall? Or near the waterfall here? If I had known that I was this close to summit, I think I would have just went straight up the rope and summited like on like within the first three hours. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's a rope over here somewhere. Hmm. There's a deer. That doesn't help much. Maybe he knows where the rope is. Maybe I should ask him. All right, come on. I'm starting to get numb. Don't want that old. Uh, don't want to get down with the sickness. That makes me, it's disturbing to me. Come on. Hey, rabbit. Lead me to the rope, rabbit. Oh, wait. This might be it. Is this it? Give me a rope. That looks like it might be a place for a rope. Are you a rope? Or you, you got a rope up here somewhere? Oh, I see a rope. I see a rope. Now, the question is, I'm frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I actually grab on and climb up a rope when your hands are numb? All right, we'll give it a go. We gotta give it the old college try here. Truth is, I really didn't try too much in college, so I don't know why where they get that from. <laughs> Maybe when they say the old college try, they mean like just feign an attempt of of uh, accomplishing something. All right, let's do this. And there should be a cave up here too. Like right at the top of the rope, kind of to the end of the next, uh, end of the next uh, hill here. Okay, here we go. Is this where I died last time? God, I hope not, because I'm kind of in the same situation. No, this is different. I think this is a different route. I think there's a cave over here or something. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a cave. Run! 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 Go inside. Go inside. <gasps> All right. Like, lots and lots of likes. Accurized likes. L likes. It's. I think maybe I should just like start the whole episode over again because I really bollocks that. Now, like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar. We made it. We're inside. We're a little bit cold, but overall, really not bad. It's 37 degrees in here, so it's nice and toasty. 88% condition. No afflictions. Love and life. So we're going to get a, a fire started, get some tea in the next episode. Let me go ahead and pause it here so I don't actually do that. Um, if you uh, wouldn't mind leaving me a tip in the tip jar, I would greatly appreciate it for all the hours and hours of entertainment. Or, even better, if you want to become a supporter um, for the duration, leave a pledge at patreon.com forward slash actors too for as little as $1 per month. Come on, guys. $1 of entertainment per month for all, for everything that you get here. You can be an associate producer. I'm actually kind of surprised because I, I figured there would be tons of associate producers and like not that many executive producers at the $10 level. It's been the exact opposite. So I'm really, thank you so much for that. Seriously. Um, hopefully my three, my third 12 hour shift is being somewhat kind to me. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Y'all take care. You guys are like the best. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. See you in the next one.